but you want a title shot. So in two weeks, right here on Lucha Extreme, you're going to see yourself facing Paul Azul, the former Lucha Extreme world champion, and the winner of that match now will get a shot at Sergeant Major at the Big Fresno Fair. Oh. See, you might have had two right here. You had the match, and now you don't. So they send some tasty skinny load dweeb to pack up their champ, huh? Nice Yukon. Should have seen the Escalade to pack me up then. Ah, you know what, Costa? I know my awards aren't really getting through to you, so I'll leave you with this. Your title and your stupid mask and heritage are mine tonight. Adios, amigo. Nos vemos, pe about this? I did talk uh, to him. I gave him a better guess this week. Let's we'll see how it goes. Welcome to the stage, my guest, soon to be ex champion, Costa Azul. Gave him Kazazul. There he goes. One of the biggest fan favorites here in Lucha Extreme. Former, former Lucha Extreme World Heavyweight Champion Kazazul. And don't forget at the beginning of the show with that comfort. Get your facts straight. I am the Don't forget I'm the former champion. The confrontation they had at the beginning champion. of the show. And tomorrow, one of them's taking on Sergeant Major. Woo! Look forward to that. Spice it, huh? Spice it, man. I know you Latinos go down with that. Huh? You should have known better. Listen to that. The crowd absolutely loves it. Shut up. So. Every time I step into a Lucha Extreme ring, oh, I've given 100% yeah, of this these is, this people. Is not, this is not what we want. That's the under your new, uh, now you're in charge, you can't get the fans in charge. Yeah, they are in charge. They can tell them to shut up if they want to. Yeah. But the Jordan McCaw shouldn't be telling them to shut up as well. Now listen to that, Casa Azul. Look, Nicole, I'm not going to talk down to you. Because I respect you as an athlete, but I don't respect your ethnic level. 
You gotta attack a man from behind. You gotta say things that will degrade people, don't you? I do all my talking in the ring. Don't forget tonight. That's how you win the title. main event. And yeah, I'm gonna bring Casa it to you. Azul will be taking off. The real on, on, call. Let's not get to the Jordan McCall. So this is a little uh, preview. Yeah, they're talking it out right now. And later, they're going to be wrestling it out. Keep your eyes open with this guy. Because you're telling the truth. To beat me, you have to cheat me. There's no way you're going to beat me, please, man. Championship, Ramon. You can rent more than a car at BVR. Hi, I'm Tony from BVR, Best Value Rent. Don't own it when you can rent it from BVR. Campers, boats, jet skis, slingshots. But when it's time to ride in style. Best Value Rental has a lot to offer. Stretch limo to party bus, be a star with BVR. You have the special occasion, we've got the ride. Best Value Rental. Make your reservation now at BVRFresno.com. Shop the largest collection of suits and shirts in the valley at Fresno Suit Outlet. At Fresno Suit Outlet, you can buy a suit or tux for just $99. And at Fresno Suit Outlet, we're famous for our three-suit deal. That's three suits, three shirts, three ties, belts and socks, even handkerchiefs. A complete look for just $2.99. Mix and match sizes, colors, even people. All at the price you want and the quality you expect. Here at Fresno Suit Outlet, we got the big guys covered. And the little ones too. Fresno Suit Outlet on North Blackstone, north of Shaw. See Kota Hero. Even though he's from Japan, he's definitely a fan favorite here. Definitely a fan favorite. Here we go. He is going to have his hands full this morning here on my Central Valley. Kotohiro now, high flyer from Japan, all the way in Hanford now. Come on. Crowd definitely loves this guy. I love him too. I'm happy he's part of the roster. As he makes his way to the ring, weighing in at a total of 220 pounds from Santino. see the U.S. champion, Robbie Phoenix, who last week had one heck of a matchup with the one and only Snipes. Robbie Phoenix had a, a hard time with the younger, more aggressive Snipes, 
So now I'm just wondering how he's going to do with uh, Hero's Kodo Hero. You never know. You never know. Robbie Phoenix, the U.S. champion. But the hero. You see what he did right there? Yeah. Robbie Phoenix came into the ring, jumped over the three. The third row. The third row, just whoa, whoa, like. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is going on? supposed to he's not in this match I think, I, I think Alonzo Are Alvarez is the thing. did I just hear this was a title match yeah. that's not fair I beat him I deserve to be in this match I deserve to be in this match I beat him he shouldn't, he shouldn't even be in this match it should be me and him one on one for the belt So from the beginning, I just took over the situation. I'm going to do something, and I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Not for you, and if this has nothing to do with you, what I'm going to do is you're going to get your shot. Because right now, this just turned into a three-way dance. Where are you going to go Uh-oh. Three-way dance, you know, it's going to be three-way. Use this one. Commissioner Phil Medina is giving you... Three-way dance. The commissioner, Phil Medina, is giving the fans an amazing show. He's headed back to the booth right now, so we'll see what was going through his mind when he allowed this to go on. It's a three-way match with Alonzo Alvarez. I'm going to come on my show and interrupt. <laughs> three-way dance, Ramon. What was going through your head when you made that decision? It was split. <laughs> It's fair. Let's give the fans what they want. They wanted a three-way dance. There it is. And it is for the United States Championship. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. You never know what's going to happen right here on Lucha Extreme. You never know. My Central Valley. There's three wrestlers in there and nobody's doing anything. Uh, he's not really the king. Look at this. He's not really the king of wrestling here in Hanford. They're calling him the Burger King. He's having it his way. <laughs> That's a good one. Real good. Boom. But no one's doing anything. I need a champion to teach these, uh, these younger wrestlers where it is to be champion. Definitely. Here we go. Three-way lockup? How's this gonna happen? There we go, they're gonna try it right now. Wow, the fans are really quiet. They're very interested to see how this is gonna uh, play out. Let's see, here we go. Spirit fingers! Oh, they're too tall! They are too tall for Mr. Alvarez. There we go. Let's see what happens. So Robbie Phoenix called out Alvarez. Oh! <laughs> what do you think of that, Ramon? I, I think he, he has the height advantage. He really did it. <laughs> he did. I can't believe it. I don't think he realizes that Robbie Phoenix is making fun of him. I don't think so either. Oh! Now the ref is The ref might be hurt. You may have to go in there and officiate this. Oh, no. 
By the <laughs> way, this was all your idea. <laughs> this is, I don't believe this. Look, he's rubbing him out now. Let's see, we've got a three-way dance here on Lucha Extreme for the United States Championship. And Alvarez looks hurt. Alvarez is hurt. There it is right there. Ooh, they're putting the pressure on Casas. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm the hero. I do apologize. Oh, now there he goes. No. Oh, it's like a break dance. Another break dancing. They're bringing hip hop back right here on Lucha Extreme. <laughs> Ring around the rosy right here, Phil. There it is. There, look at, look at, caught the hero now. Oh, breaks away, breaks away. That was very nice maneuver to get out of it. Oh, oh. Hey, Unbelievable. Big move by Kota Hero. Kota Hero now. Oh. oh. But there he goes. Monkey flips them both. Kota Hero is definitely taking oh, charge. Oh, Kota Hero now on to the outside. So much for that. goes oh unbelievable springboard off the top Ramon Kota Hero definitely showing why he's in there why he should have been the challenger for the belt there you go though Alvarez you asked for the shot now I'll tell you what Robbie Phoenix does not have to be pinned for a title change to happen if Kotohiro pins Alvarez or vice versa, they will become the new United States champion. As long as somebody gets pinned. Exactly. This gets more, this gets more interesting by the minute. Alvarez is over here hurt in the corner. Definitely, he's not getting up. I don't know if we need to send an official out there or what, but he is in trouble. Koto Hero having his way with the champion. Right now, as you see, Robbie Phoenix is a veteran in the ring. He is definitely giving these two guys a big time education. Here comes Alvarez. <laughs> Alvarez right out of, out of the corner. Oh, One, two, two count only. Alvarez, again, the young lion. This is the second week in a row that uh, Robbie Phoenix has a, uh, whoa, you see the strength of Alvarez. Shoulder tackles now into the corner. I don't know. Oh, there you go. Let me see it one more time how showboating hurts his chances. The teacher giving the student a lesson right now on the back of his head. Class is definitely in session. Boom. But look at Kota Hero now. Off the top rope. Now taking care of Alvarez. Phoenix in trouble. Kota Hero now in full control. Again. Doubles to the chest. Oh, wait a minute. Bobby Phoenix blocks him. Oh. What is it? Ooh, ooh. Oh, wow. That was like a domino effect. There's a big corkscrew right there, and that's what you get. The teacher again. The teacher, Robbie Phoenix. The crowd loved that one. They sure did. Oh, big clothesline to the corner to Alvarez. Got the hero. There's one for you, too. Merry Christmas, my friend. Ooh, big forearm. That one hurt him. You know what? I think Alvarez is out. I honestly think Alvarez is out. I think both of them are out. I think Cotto Hero is out as well. He's just having his way with both of them. He really is, and that's the way he's spanking him. Definitely spanking him. He's showing him who the daddy is. <laughs> he just did. Come on, son. Oh, my goodness. Covers one, two. Robbie Phoenix almost caused the title change, and he wasn't even really involved. But because the three men are so close together, there you go. He's still going to work on see what Snipes did last week. Oh, Texas Cloverleaf, and he's got it locked in tight, Ramon. I don't know the champion's going to be able to Ooh, Big kick. 
by Kota Hero. If it wasn't for Kota Hero, I don't think Robbie Phoenix would have been able to get out of that. No, I think you're right. I think we would have saw a title change right there. Springboards. Oh, whoa, he got caught. Oh, nice power slam and a beauty. Burger King having it his way. Definitely. Oh, takes him out. Burger, I can't believe you just called him Burger King. <laughs> hey, the fans call him Burger King. I figured I'd join the crowd. Hey, join him. You can't beat him, join him. Exactly. Oh, look at Alvarez now. Big belly to back covers. One, two. Oh, my gosh. Koto Hero in there to help him out again. Koto Hero making the save right now. I think Koto Hero just want to take Alvarez out. He has it in for him. Spinning him around. Making me dizzy. Oh, he did. Oh, he rolled out of it. Oh! Koto Hero now. Now caught by Robbie Phoenix. Oh my God, Phoenix covers both, one. Big oh. win by Robbie Phoenix. Unbelievable. And that's, how you, that's how you can tell champion with the wannabe champion. He pinned both of them at the same time. He did, he just pinned both of them at the same time. Not to take anything away from those two young men, but Robbie Phoenix retains the United States Championship right here on Lucha Extreme. Congratulations, Captain. Picking up a big win. Both those guys are hurt. You can still see it. Go ahead. Shout out to our commissioner, Phil Medina, for making this uh, match. Oh, possible. thanks. I'm glad I let you talk. <laughs> You can rent more than a car at BVR. Hi, I'm Tony from BVR, Best Value Rent. Don't own it when you can rent it from BVR. Campers, boats, jet skis, slingshots. But when it's time to ride in style. Best Value Rental has a lot to offer. Stretch limo to party bus, be a star with BVR. You have the special occasion, we've got the ride. Best Value Rental. Make your reservation now at BVRFresno.com. Snipes making his way down to the ring. From Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, newcomer here in Lucha Extreme. We are in Hanford, California this morning. Very athletic individual now here in Lucha Extreme. The best stars hey, in all of professional Coming wrestling are seen right here every week. On my Central Valley, KAIL. Oh, Mike Camden making his return to Lucha Extreme. I got to tell you, I see Mike Camden all over the United States on the independent scene, and he is now a back in Lucha Extreme. So I'm going have his problem with uh, Camden, that's for sure. And I see Camden in all kinds of battles. I mean, he had a very uh, notable one at the Fresno Fair last year. And here we go. The bell has rang. This match is underway. Color and elbow tie up now. 
Both men trying to jock for position. Into a side headlock by Camden. Camden putting the pressure on. Snipes trying to get out of it, but he can't. He's going to have to push off. I don't know if he's going to be able to do it, though. Cam's a little bit taller. Oh, pushes him off. Into the far side. Shoulder tackle. Snipes down. Oh, misses the knee, Camden does. A little bit of trash talking and hot dog in there, if you will. Oh, another call on Abel tie-up. Both men again. And uh, back into a side headlock. Snipes trying to get out. Pushes Camden off again. Camden coming out with a full head of steam. Ducks. Oh, big arm drag. Throwing Camden right there. And another one. Follow Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, if you will. Holding on to that arm bar now. Camden now. Should be a break. I don't know what the heck the referee's waiting for. Referee not even admonishing a count. That was unbelievably irresponsible by that ref. Might be a rookie, we're not sure, but so far he is the worst referee I've ever seen here in Lucha Extreme. Should have did the count, he didn't do it. But Christopher Donald's not gonna notice that one. Oh, big European uppercut snipes. Camden in control right now. Oh, nice takedown. Oh! Big kick to the middle of the back of Snipes. Covers, hooks the leg, one, two. Referee very slow, and it is, it is almost like he's never done this before. Oh, big shot from the midsection. And another one. Oh, but Camden with a big knee to the gut. Snipes. Iris whipping to the far side, ducks the clothesline. Oh, big kick right to the side of the head. Snipes now has to capitalize. Shop the largest collection of suits and shirts in the valley at Fresno Suit Outlet. At Fresno Suit Outlet, you can buy a suit or tux for just $99. And at Fresno Suit Outlet, we're famous for our three-suit deal. That's three suits, three shirts, three ties, belts and socks, even handkerchiefs. A complete look for just $2.99. Mix and match sizes, colors, even people. All at the price you want and the quality you expect. Here at Fresno Suit Outlet, we got the big guys covered. And the little ones too. Fresno Suit Outlet. Kick to the midsection. What do we got here? Oh, spinning neck breaker. Come on. What's my name? Snipes wants him to get up. Camden is on Dream Street. Big standing drop kick out of nowhere. Athleticism at its finest. Snipes covers, looks like one, two. Two count only. Snipes has got this crowd here in Hanford. All riled up. There he goes. Whips Cameron in. Camden reverses. Kick to the midsection. Oh! Jawbreaker. Followed by a big boot. Oh! DDT. Snipes is, might be out. Oh! Huge kick. Covers. Hooks the leg. One, two, Three, that's it. That's it, Mike Camden picks up the big win here on Lucha Extreme. Camden's back here in LX and he's letting everybody know about it. The winner of this match, Mike Camden. Mike Camden picking up the win on this week's episode of Lucha Extreme. Back and forth matchup. But Camden is exactly what I told you he was. Incredible. Lucha Extreme fans, we're going to be right back right after this commercial break.
taking control of Dark Usagi. In my it's like all a slap, really. Shop the largest collection of suits and shirts in the valley at Fresno Suit Outlet. At Fresno Suit Outlet, you can buy a suit or tux for just $99. And at Fresno Suit Outlet, we're famous for our three-suit deal. That's three suits, three shirts, three ties, belts and socks, even handkerchiefs. A complete look for just $2.99. Mix and match sizes, colors, even people. All at the price you want and the quality you expect. Here at Fresno Suit Outlet, we got the big guys covered. And the little ones too. Fresno Suit Outlet on North Blackstone, north of Shaw. What do you want? Excuse you? I didn't quite catch that. First off, don't forget, you got lucky, pal. Next time we face, this title is coming home with me. So don't, don't get lucky and count your blessings. I'm not here for you. What's up, girl? How come you're not interviewing a real man? How come you're not interviewing a real champion? Is this some sort of two cent, two budget show? I mean, it's fine. I mean, you can always, uh... <laughs> oh! It tastes good, right? It tastes good, right? Come get it. Come prove it. Prove it. <laughs> All right, there we go. Oh, gentlemen, move out the way. Catch this. <laughs> Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh. What'd I tell you? You're stripping enough! Oh. You're stripping enough! Oh. You're stripping enough to fake! Oh. You can take me! I don't know what happened. I was oh. just sitting there doing the interview with her. And oh, Strip it! Break! Beat me! Will take a right butter? Oh. Oh. <laughs> you think you're dead at huh? You think you're dead at huh? You think you're you think you can beat me, huh? That's so tough now. Where are your fans now, huh? Scott, Scott, okay, I'll give you your interview. I'll give you your interview. Don't you can touch have me. it. Don't ever touch me. You can have you your interview. Listen to my rules, okay? Get out of here! Take a right, Sarge. Gonna be mine, and there's nothing you can do about it. Bye, Sarge. in the valley at Fresno Suit Outlet. At Fresno Suit Outlet, you can buy a suit or tux for just $99. And at Fresno Suit Outlet, we're famous for our three-suit deal. That's three suits, three shirts, three ties, belts and socks, even handkerchiefs. A complete look for just $2.99. Mix and match sizes, colors, even people. All at the price you want and the quality you expect. Here at Fresno Suit Outlet, we got the big guys covered. And the little ones too. Fresno Suit Outlet on North Blackstone, north of Shaw.
You can rent more than a car at BVR. Hi, I'm Tony from BVR, Best Value Rent. Don't own it when you can rent it from BVR. Campers, boats, jet skis, slingshots. But when it's time to ride in style. Best Value Rental has a lot to offer. Stretch limo to party bus, be a star with BVR. You have the special occasion, we've got the ride. Best Value Rental. Make your reservation now at BVRFresno.com. This is our main event, the number one contender. Well, let's see. They know that this is the main event and is for the number one contender spot. He is so full of himself and super arrogant. But you know what? He can back it up. This is the match that everybody has been waiting for. This is it. This is the buildup that you saw earlier at the top of the show in the real McCoy talk segment. But he's gonna have his hands full, my friend. Coazul is no joke. Coazul, the former Lucha Extreme World Heavyweight Champion. And fan favorite. Big time! Big time! <laughs> and you see, Carl Azul, this is gonna be a match for the ages right here, let me tell you, Ramon. And so what happens, Kamish, to the winner of this match right here? Whoever wins this matchup at the Fresno Fair, our big annual Fresno Fair show, will get a title match against Lucha Extreme World Heavyweight Champion, Sergeant Major. Wow, looking forward to that. Well, here we go. The bell has rang. This is our main event here on My Central Valley. Big color and apple top to start things off. They wasted no time. No time at all. Jordan McCall in the black trunks. Kalazul in the blue trunks. McCall. Oh, you hear the crowd? Where's your skirt? I don't think the proper uh, name for it is the skirt. Sure it is. Okay. No, it's it's a kill. It is a kill. Another call, and I will tie up this one. Jordan McCall getting the better of it. Azul, bigger of the two, maybe a little stronger. Grabbing him now. Oh, that's a nice hammer lock into a side headlock. Holding on to it, spins it back around to the hammer lock. Azul now. Oh, oh, nice. Look at that. Jordan McCall. Oh, 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 oh. You see that right there. I think there might be a little too much torque. On Azul, I don't think that McCall was expecting that, Ramon. Absolutely not. McCall's down on the floor still. 
trying to make it seem like he wants to be there. But I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think he wants to be there. I think he wants to get up. Well, I'll tell you right now, McCall is title driven. Nice side headlock now. Holding on to it. Putting the pressure in. He would love to take that mask off of him. You know that for sure. Absolutely. And this all started outside when, when uh, Ka Kawas Azul was showing up. Right. The cow was waiting for him. And then, and then they had a the little confrontation. Words. Right. And then they had an exchange of words on the McCaw show. And now this is it. This is, this is the build up. And we're here. Ooh, you see that? He's, he held on. Not going to let go. He's holding on for dear life. Azul, like we said, former Lucha Extreme World Heavyweight Champion, knows what it's like to wear the gold. McCall does not. This is a huge matchup right here. The winner goes on to the Fresno Fair, and right here in Hanford, they are going to see who's wrestling Sergeant Major for the LX World Heavyweight Championship. As of right now, this fight can go either way. It really could. Nicely frog. Oh, McCall lost him for a second. Lost him again. Big butt belly. Oh, I'm sorry. High cross body. Now he's showing him why he was a champion before. Ooh. Full head of steam taking him right into those turnbuckles. Now we're, oh, he's seeing, on. now we're seeing where his strength is coming in for sure. Definitely. Oh, nice. And agility. Taking him down big time now. I don't think McCall stands a chance. Not at this moment. Another high cross body. He should have covered him right there. He's still getting him up, punishing him some more. Fans totally behind Azul right now. Scoops him up. Drops him down. Covers one, two. Referee in position. I think to both men, this title means everything. Absolutely, you can see it in their fighting style, their aggression, their motivation, They're fully focused in there. And the crowd is so into this matchup right now. But they see, oh, he's pulling his hair. Wow. Azul now being shoved to the corner by McCall. Oh, McCall now. Shoulder tackles in the midsection and another one. Oh, European uppercut. I don't know, Azul looks like he's hurting. Oh, he blocked it. Oh, nice headbutt to the chest. Caps right out! Azul can feel it, Ramon! The fans are loving it. Irish whips him into the far side! Azul full head of steam! Oh! Unbelievable! I think McCall is done. I don't think he's going to be able to come back. I don't think so either. Azul's putting the pressure on him. He's bringing the pain. He definitely is. Oh, I, I don't even think he's conscious. Well, he might be out. I'll tell you right now, when we made this matchup, it was very important to Jordan McCall that this happened because originally he was supposed to face Sarge, but then Azul deserved his, his rematch. So I said, why not? Oh, my goodness. Guillotined him right there. Dropped him right on the ropes. Oh, there he is. He's coming back. Asu looks like he's in pain. He's in trouble right now. McCall. Oh, McCall might have blown his knee out. I don't think McCall has fully recovered yet. His coordination was definitely off on that one. Way off. I think he slipped, and I think he hurt his knee. Oh, nice headbutt. That, yeah, did, you see the, did you see the leg just fold under him? Absolutely. He did oh, it again. He's working on it right now. 
He slipped off the top and now he's hurt that knee. He's in trouble. Look at this. Oh! Well, he fought out of it. There was nothing wrong with that knee at all. Baited him. Baited him right in. Covers one, two. Two count only. Couldn't do it. Not today. Mikhail, you got to put in some more work. Oh, now he's going after the ref. Oh, now stops. More. Let's see what happens here. He's shoving him in. The fans are trying to motivate us. Ooh. Oh, big shot now. And another one. McCullough is dozen off his hands. I think he's going to finish him. Let's see what happens here. Full head of steam runs in. Oh, my goodness. Full throttle. Full throttle right there. He hit him in overdrive. Covers. One. Two. Where is he getting all this energy from? And remember, Ramon, whoever wins this match goes on to the Big Fresno Fair and wrestles for the Lucha Extreme World Heavyweight Championship. And go ahead. And they definitely deserve it because this has been an amazing match. Yeah, whoever wins definitely deserves this. Sergeant Major better be ready because he's. Oh, look at, look at, look at. He's going for the match. Got to hook the leg. He can't pin him. He can't. He's tried several times. What does he have to do to put Azul away? Unbelievable. Look what's going on right now. Just dragging his eyes. Because his eyes and his mask are exposed. Dragging his eyes right across the ropes. Absolutely. I'm trying to figure out what the fans are telling him. I think they want them to, they want to unmask, uh, unmask them. Some of them. I mean, believe it or not, Jordan McCall does have some fans in this audience. Oh, my goodness. Right in the abdominal section, and another one. Pure fire right there, but oh, my God. Hooks him. I thought that was going to be it right there. I really thought that was close, but no. I think McCall did, too. He seems very upset. Let's he's, see what he's got. He's thinking to himself, what do I have to do to put him away? You're absolutely right. What does he have to do? We're going to see a big suplex right here. Whoa. Oh, and he sits down with him. That might be it, Phil. That could be it. One, two. Wow. Two count. Unbelievable. I can't believe what we're seeing here. I cannot believe it. Unbelievable. Look at this now. Still working them. He but sure is. The cops still putting them work. I can't believe they're still in it. How hungry are these guys? They're really hungry, man. The Lucha Extreme World Heavyweight Championship means everything. Now he's put out somebody with this before. Lots of opponents. He's got a cross face locked in. What can he do with it, Ramon? He's trying to take the mask off. That's what he's doing. He's taking the mask off. Referee trying to stop that. That mask means everything in Lucha Libre culture. Hey, he was unable to do it. Luckily. Luckily, he was able to do it. Azul seems very hurt. McCall's going to try to finish. A luchador would rather die than give up his mask. Big scoop slam. Unbelievable. Jordan McCall is trying to make sure and to secure his spot as the number one contender for the Lucha Extreme World Heavyweight Championship. Going up, missing completely! He took a lot of time preparing him for that and uh, seemed to bit him in the butt. Azul, having full knowing where he is in this ring, that's a veteran right there. The cost seems hurt. I think McCall's having some rib injuries right now. That one might be for sure. Azul. Getting him up, firing up. And a food back. Big clothesline. Catching him with an elbow on the flip side. Another clothesline. What can Azul now do to put away Jordan McCall? Oh, hit him in the throat. Ducks the clothesline. Coming off full head of steam. Big Huda Garana, unbelievable. 
this point of the fight, it really just can boil down to who wants it more. Absolutely. Whips him in. Oh, he hooked him. He hooked him. Oh. One, two. One, two, three. Oh, what the heck? Wait a minute. Jordan McCall picking up the win, but his shoulder was up. No way, Ramon, his shoulder was up. I Anyone could have seen that. I did see that. I saw it from over here. Wait a minute, there's no way. That couldn't have happened. Ladies and gentlemen, this decision's going to be final, but I'll tell you, I saw it. I believe me. Tomorrow night at the Fresno Fair, Jordan McCall's getting his Lucha Extreme World Heavyweight Championship match. Back. I'm gonna, I, 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 I gotta do something. As commissioner, you have to do something. That, that the one, no, there, I gotta talk to that referee. That's not right. That, that's, a, that's a veteran uh, referee right there. Lucha Extreme fans, that is all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for joining us right here on My Central Valley. For Ramon Vega, I'm Phil Medina. We'll see you tomorrow night at the Big Fresno Fair.